What's up guys? Today we are going to be doing the fork seals on this bike and we got a special way of lifting it in case you don't want to buy the special machine. What do we got him? Two center blocks and two jack stands and a jack. And it's on there. She's on there good guys. Of course you need some great old on point. Cages though. Definitely need the on point cages to do this, guys. You can't just do it if you don't have cages. No, because I was thinking you could run a rod through here and use the frame, but. That'd be kind of sketchy. It looks like it's plastic right there. Yeah. If you don't have a cage, I don't know how you would do it. You guys heard that. If you guys don't have a cage, we don't. um know exactly how you would do it but if you do have a cage and you don't want to get that machine the special lift you just get yourself these blocks some jack stands and boom all right guys so here we got this see there's two bolts here you have to remove the inner fender to get to these two bolts to loosen these I already got this one loose, so I gotta get this out though, but I'm gonna do one fork. So you gotta take those two bolts out and then you gotta loosen up your, your clip on. The clip on has to be loosened. This is your bolt for your clip on, your triple tree. Loosen this one and this one. And then once you loosen those four bolts, you get the whole front end to go. It slides right down. Nice. There you guys have it. This is one. And you can tell it's leaking. If yours looks like that, time for it's time to take it off and replace your fork seals. Wow. What year are we working on? 2020. 2020. They're all the same. Every They're year. all the same, guys. 2013, all the 2023. They're all the same. If you have a Kawasaki 2013 to 2023, gonna be exactly the same. Yes, sir. And you guys have it. That's one out. Let's get to tearing it apart, though. Alrighty, guys. So we're about to take the cap. Fork, cap. fork cap. There shouldn't be pressure. Hopefully there isn't. If there is, everything's gonna shoot up on top of the RVs. Yeah, guys, we gotta be careful because they say they shoot oh, up. Oh, but... no. There was no pressure. No pressure. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Then you need another special tool for that. You need a tool for this. It's a 40. Let me show you. Go get him. Motion Pro. The part numbers. 060473. Fits on the perfect. We got it um, on Amazon. Amazon. In you case you guys this. are wondering. But if you can't find it there, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere if you really need it. So there you guys have it. And um, he's going to go and get the other tool that you need to use for it. The inside right there. And then. Then you'll need this tool. Race tip. TFCH06 for this. And it's a long one, so you're gonna be here for a minute. But as you turn, push down on it. Is it having a little pressure? Not too much. This is a little different than. Whoa. Another one, guys. Make sure you have an oil pan ready to put all the stuff in it. Oh yeah, that four blocks goes in the middle. Now take this in. There's gonna be some other stuff that comes out for this watch. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me get it ready to catch whatever's going on. 
You got it when it's coming out. Huh? On the video? Mm -hmm. There it is, guys. Everything out of it. This is a seal, buddy. Here's the seal. You just take this, twist it, put this on, and you, you use this to get over. There's some little humps right here. You don't want to scrape your seal on those and on this, and this kind of gets it over. And you just, once you get here, you can just work it on down. Boom. Beautiful. And this is a seal, buddy. You can make this out of a milk carton. Yeah. That's that was right handmade here. by him. Gotta remember to put everything in order, guys. You hear that? How it sounds like your bottom's out? Uh huh. The sound, how, how it sounds? Yeah. At first, it was more ting, ting, ting. And then it gets rough. Once the sound gets hard like that, you know it, it's banging, it's bottoming out as far in as it can go. And now. Cool little pipe that hand made too. Comes in handy. Yeah, but it's still fucking pain in the ass. <laughs>